A great way of boosting engagement on Instagram is by embedding your Instagram feed directly on your WordPress website, especially on areas like the footer where it will appear on every page of your website. But you might know that Instagram doesn't allow any easy ways to do this natively. That's why in this video, I'll show you how we can add your Instagram feed into the footer of your website in just a few easy steps. Let's get started. To create an Instagram feed for a website, we'll use the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. You can purchase the plugin from smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your license key and download link inside your account. After downloading Instagram Feed Pro, head over to your WordPress dashboard. Go to Plugins on the left-hand side and click on Add New. Now click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file you downloaded from smashballoon.com and click on Install Now. Once installed, you can activate the plugin as well. And there we go, the plugin is now installed and ready to go. Before we create our Instagram feed for our footer, let's activate our license key. On the left-hand side, under Instagram feed, click on Settings. Here, you can paste your license key and click on Activate like this. And now our license key is active and we're all set to begin creating our new Instagram feed. To get started, hover over Instagram feed once again and click on All Feeds. Next, click on Add New at the top. Our plugin lets you create three different types of Instagram feeds. You can create an Instagram feed for your user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, or even a feed of posts that you were tagged in. For this video, let's go with the user timeline feed. We've already got it selected, so we can go ahead and click on Next. Now we'll have to add the source for our Instagram feed. Click on Add Source right here. And on this screen, if your account is a personal account, you can select Personal over here. Or if your account is a business account, you can click on Business right here. And now I'm going to press Login with Facebook. And this will take you into Facebook, where it will ask you to log in if you haven't already. Then you can select the Instagram business account you want to connect with Smash Balloon, like this. Then click on Next. Followed by that, you can also select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account, like this. Again, click on Next. On this screen, I recommend you leave all the options as they are to make sure our Instagram feed functions as intended. All we're doing here is giving read-only access to Smash Balloon, so the plugin can view all the information it needs, but won't be able to make any changes to your Instagram or Facebook accounts. Let's press Done right here. And there we go, it now tells us that you've now linked Smash Balloon to Facebook. We can press OK here. And once we press OK, it will show you the security prompt. It's just asking you to confirm that you'd like to connect your Instagram information to this domain. We can click Yes, it's my domain, and continue. Now back inside our WordPress dashboard, we can select the Instagram account here and click on Add. Once again, we're going to select it here and click Next. And on this page, we can select from several different templates for how our Instagram feed will look. You have options like the default, Simple Grid, Simple Grid Excel, Simple Row, and more. For this video, since we're putting our Instagram feed on the footer, we're going to go with the Simple Row Design. Once that's selected, we can go and click on Next. And here we go, we can now see a beautiful preview of our Instagram feed right here. Now, before we go and embed this onto the footer of your web page, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, you can go into Feed Layout. Here, you can modify the layout of your feed. You have layout options like the grid, as you can see here, or the carousel layout, which shows all your posts in a beautiful carousel like this, the masonry layout, which shows all of your posts in their original sizes, or even the highlight layout, which highlights your latest post in a larger size. We're going to stick with grid for this video, but if you look below, you can see that we can specify the number of posts we want in our feed. And you can even modify the number of columns you want in your feed as well. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click Save on the top right corner. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can also customize the header of your feed as well. Go into Header on the left hand side, and we give you four different header options you can choose from. Currently, it's got a minimal text style selected here, or you can go with the standard style like this, where it's got your profile picture, number of posts, number of followers, and your bio at the top here as well. Then we have the boxed style, which has your header inside a box like this. And we also have the centered style like this, where it has your profile picture, number of posts and followers in the center of your feed. And if you'd like to remove the header entirely, you can simply go ahead and disable it right here. And once you're happy with your header, you can go and press save on the top right corner. With our Instagram feed, you can also see that we have a call to action button at the bottom, follow on Instagram. This button is fully customizable as well. On the left hand side menu, go into follow button. And here it gives you options to customize that button. You can choose to enable or disable that button entirely. You can customize the text. And you can even customize the button color, the hover state, and the text color as well. And again, if you make any changes, go and click on Save on the top right corner. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can also see how your feed will look like on all devices. Just click on the buttons at the top to view how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. And once you're happy with how your feed looks, we can now embed it onto the footer of our website. All you have to do is click on Embed on the top right corner. And here it will give you a dedicated shortcode for this feed. You can copy it like this. And since we're adding our Instagram feed to the footer of our website, we're going to go and click on Add to a widget. And that brings us into the widgets menu inside WordPress. 
Let's go and add our Instagram feed to the footer right here. So we're going to select this one and we have two different options to embed our Instagram feed. You can either paste the short code we copied earlier into short code block like this, or we can use a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And as you can see straight away, we have that Instagram feed that we created earlier right here live inside that widget. So I'm going to remove the short code option and I'm going to publish this so that we can view it on the live web page. Let's check it out. And here we are on a live web page and let's scroll down all the way to the bottom to check out the footer. And here it is. Inside the footer, we now have our beautiful Instagram feed that we just created. Hovering over the post, you can see the captions, the number of likes and comments on each of these posts. And if we click on the button below, that will take us directly onto the Instagram page that we've connected to the feed. And that's it. We've successfully added a beautiful Instagram feed into the footer of our website. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact our amazing support team. They'll be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.